Good morning, everyone. The ladder is still here from when we put up the tree. I'm so sorry for that. We technically don't actually have a home for our ladder. It just lives in various rooms until we hide it out of the way. You know, anyway, let's just ignore that. Good day. Uh, it's officially toque season, y'all. The toque is on. It is cold. It is brisk. It is snowy. And it looks like winter is here to stay. Sorry, I can't decide where I want to chat with you right now. Let's go here. Today's a very busy day, so Dan and I just got our workouts out of the way, and I had to do a quick shower and a full shave because <laughs> of the bits, because today I am actually headed out to do a bunch of outstanding appointments. I am headed out of the country. We're going traveling tomorrow, so I have just jam-packed today and also tomorrow morning with all of the things, beauty maintenance appointments, all that good stuff that I need to do and get done before heading out of town. So first of all, my skin has been erupting this entire, it's been like a week and a half of just crazy, crazy breakouts. So I actually did slide in for a quick little half hour facial. So I'm very, very grateful and thankful for that. So that's gonna be our first stop dealing with this but we'll bring you along bring you along for the journey let me show you my outfit of the day for this chilly chilly day but also i need to be like light enough in my layers so that when i'm running around all over town today i'm not dripping in sweat so this is warm but also running around appropriate so here's my outfit of the day i've got my old frankie shop coat on which i love so much just an oversized lovely black crew neck. I have these Philippa K legging pants. I actually bought these and ones with slits and I am newly obsessed with them. I, I'm totally here for like the pant legging stretchy life. Super great for especially days like today where you just need to run around and be comfy. And then I've got my really old H&M leather boots which are incredible and a little black toque. I've got my black bag that I have yet to pack and that is my little running around for the day, Aaron's outfit, and also easy enough that I can take on and off when I have to get naked later. So let's pack up the bag. Say bye to Meryl. Bye, Meryl. <laughs> Goodbye, Meryl. I hope you have a beautiful day. <laughs> and let's head downtown. I got a spot right out front. This never happens. This never happens when I try to park downtown. <laughs> I, it's Formula Fake is right there. Okay, so <laughs> I'm thrilled. Just drove downtown on this gray, gray day. Guys, it's fully snowing. I don't know if you can see that through the vlog cam, but it's snowing. Winter is here. Okay, so yeah, uh, a few months ago, both Dan and I went to Formula Fig and we tried it out, had our first facial there, and I have been meaning to go back for so long, and I'm actually happy that I'm going back in this state so I can be like, please help me, save me. <laughs> and I also love that it's speedy. It's a 30 minute appointment. You just in and out. They do the deed and you're done. So let's go in, Formula Fig, get the skin taken care of. I'm in the hot seat with Faith. <laughs> We've got blue light on to help with my sad breakouts, guys. The blue LED is really, really effective at killing acne causing bacteria. Can also take down redness quite nicely, so. Oh, stunning. Thank you for this magic. And you are so welcome. <laughs> So what is this? This is a nano needle. This is a nano needle. What we're going to be doing is creating a purposeful wounds in the skin that are going to stimulate healing so we can really address things like fine lines, scarring, but we're also creating channels so that everything that Alana uses at home as well as what we use today in our facial are just going to penetrate that much deeper maximum absorbency in the skin. It feels so good. Yeah, feeling all right? Yeah, it's okay. like, it's kind of like a massage, like a tarragon. <laughs> yeah, it is really nice and satisfying feeling. And the results are so lovely. It just never feels the same when I try this at home. I know. <laughs> Look at the glow. Oh, that felt so amazing. I love it here. Ah. I feel like, oh. A new woman. When you leave, you just are left with a real legitimate glow. And I just, oh my God, the little little pokey nano needle that she was using felt so amazing. And then the little cryo massage. 
I did feel like a changed human being after that. I think I need a coffee, truly, to follow that appointment. So the first time I went to Formula Fig, I got the all-in facial, which was positively divine. And this time I got the collagen and texture. And I decided to book the texture just because of the breakout I was having. I figured that would help just with all the, the lumps and bumps that are remaining, you know, and oh, it's fabulous. I think she said, Faith, first of all, has done both of my facials. Dear Faith, you're incredible. She's done such an amazing job. And she said to follow the collagen and texture with a lift and tone just to continue lifting and plumping the skin. So oh, every time, Formula Fig, it doesn't miss. It's so good, I love it. And it's amazing what they can fit into 30 minutes. It's so good, especially if you have places to be, you have things to do. The skin is taken care of, blessed be. Now I have to head to my next appointment at the Vanity Lab. Okay, so I just parked and right here beside the Vanity Lab has always been a blends coffee. And I was gonna come get a blends and it's closed and now it's gonna be an analog coffee. R.I.P. Bye, Blends. All right. <laughs> On to the vanity lab it is. <laughs> I love all of the buildings in Yale Town. They're so pretty. If I could like dream up my dream loft apartment living in a city, it would have this. <laughs> my pits and my bits have been lasered. <laughs> So I always love going to Vanity Lab on Tuesdays because they literally have a Taco Tuesday special, which is hilarious. I love it so much. Um, and so I get my Brazilian and underarm done for Taco Tuesday and it's just a little deal, which is nice. I'd like for it to be done. I feel like I've been doing laser for 12 years and I'm so close. I just keep, I always skip appointments during the summer because you can't do it when you have a tan. So that's my bad. I'm gonna try to finish it this winter and be done. Anyway, I have one final appointment. I'm going for an RMT massage to fix my neck and my shoulders and my back and my hips. Because I'm old and falling apart. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at all this snow! Wow, wow. Today was definitely a puffer, thicker coat day. <laughs> It's cold! Okay, I just finished my massage and it was terrible, but it was great. Wah! Sorry, the snow was snowing and I just... La, 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 la. Okay, so uh, that was actually a great little appointment. I only had a 30 minute RMT massage and you know, they always ask you beforehand, like, where's your pain, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, dude, my, my shoulders and my neck, I have like a twitch. Like it's just constant, constant pain and it kind of ebbs and flows and goes in and out, you know? Um, I've been told before that I carry my stress in my shoulders and my neck and, you know, just a sore spot. He was talking about trigger points and I'm, I'm saying this to you because I've never, I have, I've have gone to many different RMT massages and massages in general and no one has ever talked about trigger points and he just like stabbed literally right into the spot where my pain is and he was just massaging it out and he did it like three times over on each side and I was like, oh! Whatever you just did is exactly, like, what, what is that? <laughs> so I need to go back there for a longer appointment and be like, I just need to sit here with a pen and paper and tell me everything I need to do to help with these spots. So it was good. Um, I packed myself <laughs> a tuna wrap. Oh my God. Pretty good, okay. So you know how earlier I was like, oh, cute, look, it's snowing. Well, that turned into a full ass blasting snowstorm blizzard from hell. <laughs> so here's the problem with Vancouver specifically. Um, the, it snows so infrequently in history that there's a lot of drivers who just don't know how to drive in snow. Also a lot of people who don't get winter tires on their car. Um, I spent half my life in Alberta, okay? So I like to say, 
I can handle the snow and the driving. And we also have winter tires. Um, it was just accident after accident after accident. It just took us, we left at 3.45 p.m. downtown and it is currently 8.08 .08 p.m. and we just got home. Uh, it was just driving like this through a blizzard and that was wild. So um, all of the afternoon slash evening plans were kiboshed. <laughs> And I'm starting to have a little panic that I'm gonna be snowed in for my flight tomorrow. Oh my word, that would just be, it would just be such a disaster. So anyway, I had some meal prep. I was freaking starving and I had to pee so badly. So I just heated up my dinner, which is turkey with taco seasoning, rice, zucchini, and wild brine sauerkraut. Pretty delicious. My sincerest apologies for leaving you hanging deeply, but I'm so happy that Dan was actually downtown with me while I was running my errands. He was doing other things and I went and picked him up and yeah, holy moly, what a drive. <laughs> you just never, you never know when life is gonna throw a little snowball at you and just dent your, your productivity plans. So apologies folks, that's it for the beauty maintenance updates because I don't think I'm gonna be able to get my nails done tomorrow because now I have to, well, pack. <laughs> I need to pack, SOS. Good morning, <laughs> good morning. Oh my gosh, you guys. I know I looked like such a miserable little twat last night, but it's because I was. I was driving in a blizzard and I felt exhausted, <laughs> exhausted after hours of that. Also, it was the second time that that has happened to me in the last like week and a half. I had totally, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram or if you didn't see it, but the same thing happened to me last week when I was trying to go to the Valentino beauty event that they were hosting in Vancouver. And because of an accident on the bridge headed downtown, I was stuck like just before the bridge. And I sat there for four hours while they were clearing it. And you know, like we were looking at the footage and looking at videos, everything on TikTok, like showing the snowstorm last night and the pileups. Like I'm actually so grateful that we got home when we did because some people were like stuck until the wee hours of the morning. So it was such a disaster. Vancouver and the surrounding areas when it comes to snow, they're so unequipped. Like we didn't see a single <laughs> truck, like snow plow. We didn't see any salting going on. Like you see this in the forecast. I mean, I'm not a city planner or anything, but definitely surprising how they handled it. Like even today, the roads around our house are still uncleared, unplowed, and in many other cities in Canada, that's pretty unheard of. Like they're usually pretty on top of um, snow plowing. So anyway, that was wild and it totally, oh my God, I had so much to do last night. I literally have to leave for my flight like immediately. <laughs> so I just went to sleep last night and this morning I've just been doing all of my packing, running around like a mad woman. I'm just finishing packing up my carry-on right now and then we're gonna head to the airport and I will be on my way vlogging the entire journey, obviously. But uh, yeah, I had to miss my nail appointment, which is very sad because I just, I truly didn't have time. I had to pack, you know, first world problems, but yeah, it's been a scramble this morning. So I feel like I can breathe now. I can chat with you and update you and let you know that I am in fact on my way to the airport. And I am very much looking forward to a few days of adventure in London. So stay tuned, lots of vlogs to come. I am so excited. I love going to London. I love the UK so much and I'm so grateful that I'm able to do this. And I am going solo. Sweet, sweet Dan is gonna be holding down the fort and in his total landmass like editing game <laughs> so i'm going to go finish packing guys i'll see you tomorrow for a new vlog when we are on our way to london and i just wanted to end by saying that there is another little landmass giveaway in today's video so be sure to check the description box the link on how you can enter the giveaway will be there as well as a list of all the products that are in today's giveaway in case you've missed it and good luck to everyone who enters a winner will be chosen within 24 hours of this video going live and you'll be contacted either by my email or my verified instagram account nothing else no telegram no whatsapp no youtube comments none of that just just my accounts <laughs> so happy landmas giveaway day i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog even though it's a little bit of a, uh, a scramble it was half of our plan <laughs> but i'll see you all tomorrow for a new one thanks for watching love you guys a lot and good luck in today's giveaway bye